So in this video, we're going to take a look at chat GPT and how you can use it at work to speed up some of your workflows. We've got new videos on Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams coming out every Tuesday about how to save time at work by using more modern ways of working and new technology. So make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time one of those comes out. Okay, so you may have heard of chat GPT. It's all over the news right now. If you haven't, it's the latest release from OpenAI, which is a organization that's trying to use AI to do some amazingly whizzy things. They have released DALI 2 already, which is where you can just type in anything and it'll create some artwork for you, which is absolutely amazing. You need to go and try it out if you haven't already. And ChatGPT is the latest thing that is probably going to replace Google and potentially the entire way that you interact with the internet. So it's way more than just an AI chatbot. So we've all been missold AI chatbots in the past, especially when you're a frustrated customer wanting to make a complaint and you get directed to someone's chatbot that just doesn't understand you and you just want to speak to someone to sort out your problem. This is not that. This is more like Google on steroids. So you can type into it, you can have a chat with it, you can ask it anything, it'll return loads of stuff for you. The most useful way that I have found to speed up some tasks that you may want to do at work is by condensing information for you. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to use chat GPT to summarize your meetings and get some action points pulled out for you using some real life examples. So ChatGPT isn't the only thing that's doing this. In fact, Microsoft in the news the other day, depending on when you're watching this, have said that they want to invest 10 billion pounds in the owners of ChatGPT because obviously they see it as the next big thing. I think it could overtake Google, whoever owns this technology, but I'm sure Google are working on their own AI stuff as well. But Microsoft are just coming out with Microsoft Teams Premium and as well as all of the other benefits you get, one of the things you get with Teams Premium is the ability to summarize your meetings for you. It sort of overlaps with Viva Sales because that also does the same thing, although I think Viva Sales is a bizarre product from Microsoft. If you'd like me to make a video on Microsoft Viva Sales, then let me know in the comments below. But if you were just interested, which I was, the main benefits of both of those two products for me would be being able to you know, record a meeting and the transcript and summarize that information. In most organizations still, the amount of meetings and the amount of information flowing through the organization is what is taking up most of the time. So if we can squeeze that down as much as possible or use AI to help us squeeze that down into more meaningful chunks of information that we can then communicate around the organization, that's going to be a massive benefit to us. So. That's why the summarization of meetings was interesting to me in Teams Premium and in Viva Sales with ChatGPT, you can do this for free. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video right now. I'm Gavin Jones, founder and director of MeTime, where we help organizations save time at work to increase sales and well-being. If you need more help getting the most out of Microsoft 365 subscription, then consider booking a call using the link in the description below or check out some of our free resources if you want to find out more. So here is a real life example where I went to a client and uh, we had some a couple of days of workshops uh, to find out what needs to be done. And then this was the second visit where we were doing some initial training with the main proponents that are going to lead the change through the organization. So think of them as champions or super users, however you would usually badge that up. But right here, we've got our meeting recording of one section of that. So we did record most of the stuff throughout both mornings, cut it down into chunks. So this one is only an hour, but we do it again for quite a long time. And you can see we just opened the meeting recording. It opens in stream and it's automatically transcribed it for us because the default is when we start recording in Teams, it also starts transcription for us as well. And I'd always advise that transcription is turned on especially now we can do this. So unfortunately, if you download it, it downloads to a VTT file, which has got loads of stuff in it, ends up being a really long file. All we're gonna do is you can highlight the whole thing if you wanted to by dragging. We're just gonna click in and then click Command A to highlight all the text on the screen. So that's gonna pick up, remember all of this stuff as well. And ChatGPT is clever enough that it's gonna filter that out for us. It's not gonna summarize the stuff that's not interesting. So we're gonna do Command or Control C to copy that. And if we scoot over to Chat 
ChatGPT, which is chat.openai.com. You can see some examples and capabilities and limitations there. Quick caveat, if you're using ChatGPT to summarize information that then goes externally and you are bothered about search engine optimization, apparently, no, I'm not an SEO expert, Google are, is scanning blog posts and things for stuff that it thinks would be might be AI generated and then downgrading that in their algorithm. So just something to be aware of. All we're using it for here is internal communication within your organization. So that doesn't matter because we don't care about whether Google's, you know, doesn't not going to show up in Google anyway, because it's all internal. So all we're going to do in chat GPT is type summarize, which is in English spelling for me, and uh, do control V and hit enter. So chat GPT is free. It might throw up an error. They've got really high demand at the moment because everyone's talking about it. And so you might just need to come back later to go and try it. We're just going to try a new chat again. And you can see it's typing it out as it's, it's, uh, it's going through. And everything it's saying seems to be true. It's even named the chat for us, organizing file structure. And that was the main point of that that section is trying to get people ready to get their files from all over the place, which were in Dropbox, SharePoint, wherever, and, and into a simplified team structure, which if you need help doing that, then check out our free organizational training in the description below. We might give you some ideas about how to simplify your team structure and get the most out of Microsoft 365, as well as saving people time to spend increasing sales and increasing well-being. So if you want it to, you know, maybe that was too much uh, of a summary for an hour-long meeting, you could just say continue and see if it's uh, it gets us anything else. And again, all of that is correct. So everything it's saying is is a pretty good summary of what we were were talking about, pulling out the main points. So how to use that in teams well we could go and copy this text and then go and stick it into our teams channel we could start a new thread that says meeting outputs and just go and paste that in there uh, go and link this other bit as well and you know where it says like gavin jones who's actually me we can go and rewrite some of that ourselves but you know quite quickly you can see we've summarized an hour-long meeting into like exactly what's gone on so if someone's missed that meeting they can come through and see it there we could attach the file of the meeting to go so they can go and see it. Or as I like to do, we could go and do a news post about that because it aids discovery and it's a bit more permanent than just doing a Teams post. So if you need help doing that, then check out this video next where we go through our how to use SharePoint news connector and have that come into Teams. So that's all well and good. That's what's gone on in the meeting. What about if you know, we've got some actions that we missed and we didn't add those to Planner as we're going through the meeting. Well, with the same copies, let's just go and recopy that and we can say what actions, say just something like what actions and paste it in, see what it does. So it says based on the transcript provided, so it knows it's a transcript. We didn't tell it it's a transcript. It appears the actions have been discussed in the meeting are relating to migrating files, new channel, and organizing files, simple and easy to use way. So tidying up and ordering files before migration, considering target forte, which I recommend, uh, power system for digital storage, which separates projects, areas, responsibilities, archives, simplifying the file structure and keep the most active items at the forefront and linking files instead of attaching them. So again, it's not bad what it's pulled out, if there's anything that we need to change, we can go and change it. And again, we can go and stick that either in the Teams post or into our uh, SharePoint page news post. And we could just type actions and paste it there and go and you know format it and cut out anything we don't want to see. Or we can go and individually cut those things and go and add them into Planner so that we've got our, all of our actions in Planner and chased up and assigned to people, which obviously is the best way to do actions, but you could do both. You could paste it in there and go and assign an action. So someone reading through knows what's going on in the meeting, knows what the actions are all in one place. And then also they can go and see that in Planner. Obviously if you had it SharePoint page, like I say, go and check out this video 
then you can embed your planner into that SharePoint page. So you've got the video recording, the text, the summary, you can add, add the transcript in as well to aid search, and you've got the planner so people can see a live view if those actions have been done or not. So that was just a very quick way that you can see you can now use free AI to go and speed up your work and your meetings. And if you need any other help trying to make that change in your organization towards modern working, then consider booking a call using the link in the description below where I can help you get your next best step toward modern working for your organization. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up before you go, it really does help us in the algorithm. If you really liked it, consider buying me a beer to support the channel or using super thanks that's just beneath this video in the top little row of icons. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already because we've got new videos coming out at least every Tuesday. And thank you for watching so far. I'll see you in the next one.